The last video was a little bit longer, this one will be a little bit shorter. Let's try to set up a melody. Well, actually we already have a melody here. Okay, it's uh, the arpeggio thing from the last video. So let's change it a little bit around here. So, Okay, you see that with the tones and the sleep intervals we can create a melody. Okay, and of course what we can do also is we can try to Oh, let's put a new line here, okay, so we can just easily copy and paste this three times and this would sound something like this. You can also see in this window here, uh, the log window, that each uh, synth that is played, in this case it's the kalimba, is displayed here, so let's let's run it one more time. You see, bing bing, with the exact timing information on beat 4, 4.5. This is how long it takes. The 67 is the last one to play. After that, the run is completed. All runs are completed, and the Super Collider audio server, which is actually the sound engine behind Sonic Pi, is entering a paused mode. So, there's one other thing to be noted here by copying and pasting. We took this and we put it together three times and this means that we don't have the sleep interval between lines 9 and 10 and 14 and 15. And this is why we get a chord for these tones here. You see it also here, that we get the 67 and the 60 together at the same time here. Oh, that's here. Okay, that was that about melodies. <laughs>